Mm-hmm. And then there's another weight loss uh, peptide, 5 amino one mq What are your yeah. thoughts on that? And that also increases NAD level, right? And also help with mitochondria health, correct? Yeah, certainly. So, so I was actually the first person to ever take the uh, the five amino one mq um, And at that point, we were trying to do it as an injection, um, and it was awful. One of the most painful injections I've ever done. Um, but I I had seen the the data um, by Dr. Waterland. Um, come out of the University of Galveston, and and um, you know it was right around the same time that um, I would say that NAD and sirtuins were gaining a lot of popularity, um, and so uh, the injections didn't work at all. But but uh, the the oral products um, certainly uh, are, are something very good, and, and technically it's a small molecule instead of a peptide, but it's one that I'm a very big fan of. So mm-hmm. you don't think the injectable is a good form? No, I don't. And the reason being is that uh, the five amino one in Q is very uh, difficult to solubilize um, in water. And so um, so I think that the oral version is perfectly fine. You get bioavailability um, and, uh, and it, it certainly works. Um, you know, we're even doing NAD testing with your diagnostic. I've seen the five amino one in Q increase that intracellular NAD level. Um, on that, some of the effects it has on muscle regeneration are, are, are pretty exciting. Okay. And do people also notice increased energy level? Yeah, I, w- I would say that um, some people might. Um, I, I think that uh, one thing that I saw um, that was certainly unique is just improvements in performance. Um, I had some of the craziest uh, increases with performance that I've ever had with any type of product um, with the five amino. Um, and uh, and again, I, I had no idea why at this point. One of the, the first studies really just described it as a way to increase in AD. Um, and I had no idea why it was having so much of an effect on me from a performance aspect, uh, but I loved it. Uh, and then shortly thereafter, a couple other papers came out showing the impact on skeletal muscle. Um, and uh, and that made a little bit more sense. Um, you know, it, it activates the satellite stem cells and muscle. Um, and so I think that, uh, although some people might experience some energy benefits, I think the performance impacts are, are certainly something that, uh, I think most people will feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, maybe I have an improved version of the five amino one MQ. I'm not sure because it's highly soluble, looks beautiful, not painful yeah. when I inject. So I'm wondering if things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I would, I would, I would uh, be a little careful about the injectable. I, I know from experience. But one of the other things is that the 5-amino 1-MQ is usually given as an iodine salt. And sometimes, much like we talked about with the copper, if you give it too frequently or you bypass that first-pass metabolism, um, you might increase iodine levels a little too high. Um, so something to, to pay, take a look at there um, as well. But I should also mention there are new generations of the, the 5 amino one mq um, So shortly after um, its development, uh, actually Dr. Waterland created a spin-off company just to develop this product. Um, and they very quickly got pharmaceutical interests and are now on second and third generation versions of the same molecule that, um, that are in pharmaceutical development and will hopefully hit the market uh, over the course of the next decade. Hmm. Is that why the solution is like amber color is because of the iodine? Yeah, it is. 